We only have a short amount of time together. And I think the best way for us to share that time is to talk about you owning your brilliance. But we're not just gonna talk about it, we're gonna be about it. I know, I know, I know, I know we'll find out. I know that every single person in this room has an incredible amount of potential and uniqueness and personal agency. But it is rare, y'all, that we step into all of that greatness on a daily basis. And so I am here to simply remind you about how brilliant you are and to help you courageously own that brilliance when it's time to speak up and step up and show up at work. It's the return of the golden child with the golden smile, hometown hero arriving at the golden hour. People start to feel stuck and stunted and silenced when they can't own their brilliance. And it really can contribute to them not liking their job, not being productive, and that might even contribute to them not liking themselves in the workplace. Have you ever skipped out on opportunities that are right in front of you? Every day within my work, I talk to and I work with people from all over and they share their stories with me. They tell me about how they are afraid to share their unique perspectives because they don't wanna step on their boss's toes. They're afraid to share their ideas and they have good ones about diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging because they don't wanna be isolated from people and projects and promotions. Life is too short to play games with your potential. Candace is joining us today to talk about how to help build confidence and live life courageously. Very encouraging and empowering. I feel like it's giving me confidence to pursue my own dreams as well. It's really important to me to help people tap into their potential and they cannot do that without courage. I am going to share with you three critical questions that you can use every single time you are being called to own your brilliance. The first question is what is the risk? The risk is rejection, humiliation, it's embarrassment. And the other side of risk is what is the risk of not taking the action? And we have to decide which risk is bigger. The fear associated with standing out or standing up or standing true is too strong, it's too convincing to be overcome by a weak cause. I had to snap, so y'all y'all thought I was serious. The last question that we need to be able to ask ourselves is do we have the internal resources that will help us to persevere through the risk? Yeah. <laughs> Own your brilliance. Name it. Claim it. Put it on the wall and frame it. You got to show it. Without apology, you better know it like the grass is green. You need to wear it like two chains, declare it like an Uno game. Uno, step into it like skinny jeans, run around in it like a track and field team. You need to take up space with it like the air you breathe. Shake it like your mama gave it. Use it cause no need to save it. Share it like a selfie pic, believe in it because your brilliance is magic.